Good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. This is your weather content for Monday, August 31st. Happy Monday to you. God bless you today. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, we actually have some storms this morning that's starting up in Minneapolis. It's going to go through Wisconsin. It's going to stretch down a little bit to Iowa, and then to Missouri and Arkansas is going to have some storms today, as well as uh, western Florida from Tampa uh, almost to Tallahassee. Then North Carolina all the way up to Virginia, you're going to have some severe storms today. But this is your outlook for precipitation for your heavy rainfall today. Uh, you also have the heaviest rainfall right below Roanoke. Uh, also, if you look for tomorrow, the worst part is going to be over here from Oklahoma and stretching all the way across to Tennessee. I'll show you that as well. But we do have a, a severe today for convective outlook. Uh, let me turn this one off so you can see. But at the heaviest rainfall will be towards Roanoke. Uh, for today, it's going to be some bad storms today crossing through there. Uh, now, you do have a tornado also uh, watch for this area you, uh, from Oklahoma, Arkansas, a little bit towards Springfield. But you do have it for the South Carolina, I'm sorry, North Carolina and Virginia as well because these storms that are passing through today. Now, as these storms pass through today, you'll see that it, it does stretch out all the, way to, um, all the way to Missouri and Arkansas, but they do dissipate. But these ones you see later on, come later on this afternoon now as it goes through the day it is a, some bad storms going through uh, minneapolis and wisconsin but they do dissipate later this afternoon and that's when it pops up for missouri and arkansas as well and then it starts getting rough uh, for virginia now as the days go through the late the, the tornado threat grows later on this afternoon uh, when it gets around 5 6 p.m some bad storms pop up uh, over Oklahoma, also in uh, Virginia and North Carolina as well. Now, as these storms go through the, today, this is the best chance for your tornadoes, so be aware today, this afternoon, for these storms. It is going into late into the early mornings. You can see the time stamp is always on the top uh, left, so you can see, but it will pass through after they're gone. Now, now, over there in the central U.S., where we have the other tornado threat, uh, these some bad little cells popping through this afternoon, so you want to keep your eye definitely on these cells because as, they, they, as it, it heats up to instability, it gets worse this afternoon, and that's where they are. And if you can see, look at that right there. That's a nasty hail core, and that is right around 7 p.m. for Tulsa. So be careful of these storms. You are going to be in a tornado threat with these storms because there's a chance for convective activity. And that's going through tomorrow right there. This is for tomorrow's threat. This is 4 a.m. The storms will pop back up. So just be aware of that. Uh, also for Florida, you do have your excessive uh, warning for today. And you will see the storms pop through your area. It does go all afternoon long and it just goes towards Florida with the thunderstorms and pops up late towards M Miami. You can even see them come through Mississippi and Alabama also uh, later this afternoon. So watch out for those storms that will dissipate quickly. Now this right here, you see on my other videos that I showed you, this does go north and east and it goes out. This is an active invest that we have right now, the 90L. It will be Tropical Depression Nana, like I said, and it will go up to possible uh, Tropical Storm Nana as it gets more out into the ocean out here, but it does weaken right back, right back up uh, immediately. But this is your storms that you do have for today, so be aware for that. And up here you do see... Yes, that is actually snow. They actually have a freeze warning in the higher elevations, uh, but, but that's in the mountains, guys. And they're, they're pretty much used to that. They know this time of year is about when it comes, but it is a little early. But they are under a freeze warning for this snow that is falling up here in the, in the west. Now, if you take another look, let me stop this. And I want to show you exa exactly what's going on. load this up for you and then we'll get going on what else I want to show you because we do have heat warning for today excessive heat warning especially for Texas so if you're in Texas area I know uh, Chuck's son he's a good guy he's he's uh he's in the north of Texas up there but as you can see we have the the, the fire warning I'll show you what we do have for the west side but the precipitation forecast does a little bit above uh, average for the east coast but as the, the next eight to 14 days do, do pass it looks like it does dry out and the rain does uh, become less of a storm for the central but it still stays uh, above average a little bit uh, for the for the east coast and the, especially the northeast 
Now, this is your instability of your Cape values for this afternoon. That's why I said mostly your best chance would be in the Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri area for tornadoes. They have a higher Cape values than mostly the North Carolina and Virginia has. So I am showing later this afternoon it's going to be worse uh, for the Oklahoma, uh, Missouri, and Arkansas for a chance for tornadoes today. Now, yeah, you, you do have your excessive heat warning, like I said, from Texas. You also had it, have it. To, for North Carolina, it's a uh, heat advisory. The excessive heat heat, uh, heat warning is way down here in Lower Texas. You also have your flash flood watches up here from Virginia, North Carolina, and then you have your red flag warnings uh, all the way from Utah, from Colorado, Montana. That's because they have that that dry air going on and all them fires. And sorry to say, like I showed you, the precipitation forecast shows it is going to be dry for the next eight to fourteen days. Uh, this is your freeze warning right up here. But now, well, let me get back to the model because I want to show you exactly what's going on with another invest that we have going on. And people was wondering about uh, whether it's going to be something to worry about because now they have more of a chance for it to be something. And I'm going to show you that it, I'm showing that it's not. Because we always have, this is the five data that you have for that new invest. It's the 99L. It's at 1,008 millibars. But this is where the highly convective activity has been all season long so far. They've been shooting out the west of, of Mexico like fireworks. I've showed it before. So this is where your highly convective activity is. So if, when this low pressure uh, does move along, it would have a chance in this area to become, become something. But as it moves along, it won't be going into our golf. At least I'm not showing that as of yet. Now, as you watch the storm system, you'll watch it move along, but you'll see it grow over here towards the western side and that's what we have so far but i'm not showing anything magical or powerful coming from this thing this is a 10 meter run of of your sustained winds and i'm showing barely in the 30s so i'm showing it in the immediate it's not going to be something major to worry about but as we get get along and it gets through the most convective area of this area you'll see that something does become uh, over there we just don't know exactly what that's going to be because that's still too far away but in the immediate, I don't see this low pressure becoming anything damaging as it moves across. It, from what I show, it's still the same thing. It dissipates down to 30 miles an hour. I've been showing 30 miles an hour for a while now, so I'm not showing that that's going to become anything. But we will keep our eyes on it just to make sure we wouldn't want any, any problems pop up uh, that we have unexpectedly. Now, the invest for the uh, 90L for the east and the and it's going to move north and east if you watch it go out you can see it this is lower leaving now but this is this is the invest right here and this is going to be moving north and east and you have the jet stream right now it's moving right along the carolinas so it's going to be pushing it out now before y'all go today and you get into your monday it is the beginning of the week and and you definitely want your mind to be clear on a day like today so i want to speak of something very important revelations 12 and a great sign was seen in heaven a woman arrayed with the sun and the moon was beneath her feet and on her head was a crown of 12 stars and she was pregnant and she cries out in her pains and in her agony to give birth and another sign was seen in heaven and look a great fiery colored dragon with seven heads and ten horns and upon his heads seven diadems and his tail dragging a third of the stars of heaven and it hurled them down to, to the earth. And the dragon kept standing above the woman who was about to give birth that when she did get, give birth, it might devour her child. And she gave birth to a son, a male, who is to shepherd all the nations with an iron rod. And her child was caught away to the God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she has a place prepared by God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and sixty days. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled with the dragon and the dragon and his angels battled, but it did not prevail. Neither wars, neither was a place found for them any longer in heaven. So down the great dragon was hurled the original serpent, the one called devil and Satan. Who was misleading the entire inhabited earth. He was hurled down to the earth. 
and his angels were hurled down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come to pass the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ, because the accuser of our brothers has been hurled down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they conquered him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their witnesses. And they did not love their souls, even in the face of death. On this account, be glad, you heavens and you who reside in them. Woe for the earth, for the city, for the sea, because the devil has come down to you, having great anger, knowing he has a short period of time. Now when the dragon saw that it was hurled down to the earth, it persecuted the woman that gave birth to the male child. But the two wings of the great eagle were given the woman that she might fly into the wilderness to her place. There is where she is fed for a time and times in half a time, away from the face of the serpent. And the serpent disorged water like a river from his mouth after the woman to cause her to be drowned by the river. But the earth came to the woman's help and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the river and the dragon disgor disgorged from his mouth. And the dragon grew wrathful at, at the woman and went off to, to wage war with the remaining ones of her seed who will observe the commandments of God and have the work of, of bearing witness to Jehovah Jesus. Amen. God bless you all today. Hope you all have a great Monday. Start off, start off your week with a good mindset and a good attitude, guys. Thanks for watching.